Hello everybody, I'm Sheila. Today I'm going to show you how to use some memory wire. Now we've got, these are the necklaces I've made, just a couple just to show you. And that's got two, two pieces um, of the memory wire uh, joined together at each end and just joined together with basic loops with the um, pearls. So that's that one. And I've done, that's with this wire here, which bends, uh, you can actually bend it really quite easily with, um, you'll need some strong uh, memory wire pliers to cut it as well. Um, but it, it does bend easy with your own nose pliers, just with a bit of force, okay. So that's, that's the uh, necklace. This is the bracelet. And this is my <laughs> magic ring here, but um, I'm not going to use it as a ring this time. I'm going to use it as a pendant and I'll show you which it is. Here we go. So that is the pendant that I've made from the ring memory wire. Okay, so I'm going to show you that in a minute. Uh, I mean, this one is another bra uh, necklace, beg your pardon, that's the bracelet. This is another necklace I've done, um, and that's just with using the um, memory wire, bending it over to the end, and then I've popped some chain on there, and then I've got some decorative drops. And I've also put the clasp on the section there, so you can open it at the front and close it, and it's easy to, to sort of wear then. So I'll just move that over there. And move that over there a little bit now and then I'll move that necklace out of the way and there we have the pendant now to do this uh, it's got a little bit of a spring in it if you get what I mean so what I've done is I've taken both of the ends there so if I can see both of the ends, which I've got that one, and then I get the other one at the end, right at the very end. They are so close together, but once you've got them done, so just bear with me till I get the very one at the end because they are too close. I mean, it doesn't really matter, I don't suppose, if you don't get them too close together, but the idea is that once you've got each end, then you can then curl them round if I can get those pliers to show you. There you go. I'm trying to look through the camera when I can see better. So I'll do that again. I'll show you again. I'm looking sort of away from the camera instead of looking over it. There we go. So now, as you can see, now I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> so there we've got the two ends. So if I do that again, and just show you. See how it springs back? So the secret is to do that, to make it into a pendant is, just move that over there a little bit. So again, if I take each end, which I can see what I'm doing, I'm looking under the camera and then I can see it better. So there, there's, there's, oops, there's both of the ends there that I've got, so you can see them there. So just fold them round. It's, it's like one of those sort of slinky that you think that you sort of put down the stairs. <laughs> the children so just do that and then what I did then just to create that pendant was I actually got some crimp covers which we've all got plenty of those okay so and then just squeeze those together and then get the crimp beads over the top push them whoops you have to be obviously it's a bit Hang on, let me start again with that. Let me find one that's open quite a bit. That does help. Um, let me see, let me try that one. So if you put that over the top quickly, you have to do it quite quickly, and then just squeeze it. And as you can see, that now keeps that together. So I'm going to put another one on. Just move round a little bit, hold it tight. I'm going to get another one that's got, you can't think about anything else when you're trying to put these on. So if I put another one on, squeeze that really, really tight. And they do move up after a little while, so don't worry too much. You can actually, so it doesn't matter how many you put on. So I've got on, 
I've got one there that's right down the bottom. I'm going to squeeze that one again. And you can leave that one there. And then that gives you a nice section in your, um, in your pendant there. So as you can see, I've got that one there. You can fiddle about with them and sort of squeeze them on or put another one on. It doesn't really matter. There's no set form to the to the um, pendant, really. It's just something I made up, one of my happy happenings. But I like to have a little play around with things and see what you can make from them. So there, I've got two on there. Now I'm going to have to put on another one. Okay, whoops. I'm going to put on another one just to keep the two sections together. There. Oh, not like that. Okay, let's get another one out of the way here. And what I've done then after that is I've just attached, squeeze that in there, push it right down your pliers. Just move that over a little bit there, squash it down. And then you've got enough room in the middle there then to pop on your jump ring there in the middle there and then you can pop on your chain and then that's as simple as that is where's the other one gone I've lost him he's rolled away there we are <laughs> so so that's your pendant so that's how easy it is to do it and as I say you can you can put as many of these on as you want to just to secure it um, and it makes a really nice pendant put on another one there hope this one won't pop off I have to say there we go so you've got to make sure that you've got that in really really tight and you've got it through the hole and then once you get some so she pressure on there oops I don't think I've got one that's big enough. That's got a big enough sort of because they all do vary. So that's really all you do then is then just popping your jump ring in the middle there, and then you've got a nice pendant section. I mean, I've I've got quite a few on there, only because the one I put on in the beginning. I can always take that off actually because you can actually take these off easily. Take that one off. There we go, and then we can just leave those two on if you want to. So I'll have those two on, and then just pop on, as I said, your jump ring in between, pop on your chain, and there you have a little pendant, which if you wanted to, you could just put one on the top, um, and then you could make a pair of earrings, but I, th I think it's nice to have them. As you can see, you can have them whichever way you want. Um, I just think it's something different to do with your memory wire, other than a ring. You can make a ring, of course, but that's, that's just another idea. And the memory wire is, is, is so usable as well. You could make lots of things with it, I think. Um, so this, this is just me experimenting with it, actually. So have a go and see whether you come out with something a little bit different. And then what I did then with this bottom bit here, as you can see, I've just attached a jump ring there and then I've just done, with the pearl, I've, I've used a couple of, well, I've used some um, of the gold seed beads just to accessorise um, the kit and the um, memory wire. So then just make a basic loop. If you want to, you can actually roll wrap it round so it doesn't, so it doesn't actually, that's the one thing with roll wrapping. You don't actually lose any of your designs because they won't fall off. And then you can just secure that so you haven't got the ends sticking out. Flatten that with your flat nose pliers. And then just attach that then to your jump ring that's at the bottom of your pendant. And then you'll have that nice sort of dangle there. 
which I have tried it on and it does look really, really pretty and something different. So I hope you have some fun having a go at that um, and uh, I hope to see you soon. Take care now. Bye bye.